I like how easy mulliganing has has become for the deck, just very streamlined. This hand's great, also. Putting back the stirrings, I think. Looks like uh, probably Yawgmoth. Very, very important to have one the die roll against Yawgmoth, especially with a hand that can likely win on turn three. Um, I can Karn this turn. Or I can save... Save my mana for later. Should I run Leyland Sickness on the sideboard? I don't think so. So I can go 4, 7... Yeah, I think I just hold it. I'm gonna try to win next turn rather than just like get, get the dumb card down. Now I understand how Amulet Tires Titans always have a Grazer as the last card. They just never play the Grazer. <laughs> they just never play it. it. Makes so much sense. Resident Madman, thank you for the 8 months. Hope you're doing well. Awesome, glad to hear it. Oh boy. Well, now I'm really happy we waited. Am I missing the key at all? No. The key, I, after like a bunch of playtesting, like the key wasn't bad, but it was just like, would be better as like an explore, like almost like any other reasonable card. That's like, that's one kind of tough thing with brewing. It's like when you recognize that there's a card that is like good, fine to play, like the key was fine. It's just like recognizing that it's suboptimal is tricky sometimes. Third amulet. Yeah, you love to see it. And another Escape to Wilds, you also love to see that. Let's just cast that. Or if I cast that, I guess it's a bit harder to leave Wooburk floating for the Golo spin if I need it, if I brick really hard, so. I think I've got two more land drops. Ooh, okay, so just show them the door. Just show them the door. I, I, I love how like Golos and Timeless Lotus and Escape, it just feels like they just play so smoothly together to just let you play anything you want. It's awesome. And maybe to some extent, it's really good that this deck loses to Force of Vigor. <laughs> I love how it's just, it is now normal on the stream to kill your opponent with door to nothingness on turn three. Just the, like, like the millionth turn three door kill. <laughs> just the normal, the normal thing. <laughs> expansion explosion, Jesse. Expansion explosion. Yeah, we did it. We solved modern. Yeah, gardens is a really big key. Like without gardens, like you know this this lotus was printed before gardens. I think without this card, this deck like just can't exist. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe they should ban this. It literally says. <laughs> You know, I don't think there's any card in Modern Horizons that says target player loses the game. It's just kind of an unfun line of text. <laughs> this curve would kill a Victorian child. I'm trying to... I'm not smart enough to understand the joke. Is that, like, is that the rare scoliosis joke? The rare but classy scoliosis joke. Okay, let's keep this. And six. A TikTok thing, ah. Uh, I guess I'm not on that side of TikTok. I'm on Capybara TikTok a lot lately. There's a whole song. 
Okay, they mulligan to six. Thought sees me. It's okay. Have you ever copied Lotus with Gardens? Um, I can't think of. Ooh, you can do that if you can do that if you have the amulet triggers on the stack, right? I haven't no, but it, I I haven't taken that line. Usually, when you have like that much, like usually your gardening thing before you're doing all your untapped stuff. <laughs> yeah, we need more scolios jokes in the discourse. For sure. <laughs> okay, they, they take car. I think that makes sense. All right, love to find a amulet. Fuck. Am I really taking map and mapping for Saga? It's so slow. I don't think I'll see. I already have a Lotus, uh, I guess. Fruit Fly, 33 months, thank you. Yeah, this, the world's slowest amulet. Okay, we, like we can cast Karn next turn, grab a Needle for Yawgmoth, make them play a slow game too. You think I'm the first person to register a timeless Lotus and Mogger? Probably not. I'm probably the first person to build a good deck with it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I had a lot of people say that they had tried to build, like, timeless Lotus decks in the past, that this was, you know, a version that they liked compared to the versions they had. I'm not sure how I feel about this getting cast. I guess I can't feel too bad about it, since it's not doing anything. Hashtag play amulet in the sideboard. I could honestly just get Filgree Sages. Get Filgree Sages this turn. Chump block. Get next turn cast. I guess I can't cast Lotus unless I draw a land. Cage. Cage is pretty good. I think if I get Ballista, though, I can win the game if I draw Amulet. I can just get Door to Nothingness. I can also Metamorph and copy their Shieldred. Okay, I'll get Cage this turn, and then I'm probably just going to... If, assuming I don't draw anything and I feel like I'm going to die to the Shieldred, I could copy the Shieldred. I could get something else, too. When do I raise the Cyber Guy for the deck? I'll tweet it out. No siding in any matchup at the moment. I was bringing in some welding jars, and they just like weren't doing anything. I think you're just supposed to like dodge sideboard hate, tank sideboard hate, and that's okay. You mentioned how defensive control decks are dead, but that's fine because offensive controls are alive. What exactly is the difference? I was just joking. That was just. I was just memeing, because someone said, someone asked me a question about defensive control decks, are they dead? And I thought it was a funny question, because what is a def all control decks are defensive, or, you know, as long as you're not a hybrid archetype. So, that, that was the joke. <laughs> okay, so they get to put my card to one, which I don't love. Do you think I'm blocking... Try to, try to get another activation. Looks like I'm not going to be able to. Oh, whoops. I, I, I could have pressed the Karn, but I guess it doesn't really accomplish anything. My brain was already, you know... Done <clears throat> done for. Um, definitely need a payoff still. We can chump lock the shielded for a turn. So chump lock. Can't also put Gigant into my hand. We're going to have a ton of mana next turn. Just need to draw a payoff. And if we don't draw the payoff, we can make another chump blocker. So we maybe have two more turns. Defense grid seems like a good choice as it makes four significantly worse. Does it? It's like... Like, the, the problem is, like, 
the like force of vigor is like just comes down before defense grid comes down, right? It's also like not that hard to hard cast if you're taking the time to defense grid. Please be Eldritch Evolution. Yikes. Oh, they're, hold on, they're not killing my Saga, they're only killing, they're killing the cage and the bird. So we still have, we still probably have one more turn to draw something. Although they only have, okay, are they going to evolution? No, their last card was a Grist. Okay, I don't know why they didn't just kill my Saga, they were like so, in so much better shape, I think. I drew Escape to the Wilds, which is likely going to be good enough. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, well, we're down to mana. I forgot I was responding to the Shieldred trigger. Don't think that one mana is going to des definitely break us, but if it does, I'll be really embarrassed. It's one mana, Michael. How much could it cost? Okay, so we have Golos and Karn, and we have another land drop, so we have 7, 11 mana right now. Golos can be plus 1 mana. Three three Ballista doesn't seem like it does enough. So it looks like we're spinning. Hit another escape to the wilds and a and another lotus. I guess I stirrings first. Take the other lotus. Okay, I think we just shove the door now. Yeah. Where's the other trigger? There it is. Cute. Have the escape to the wilds, but we'll just, you know, just show them the door. You may exit the game now, opponent. Thank you very much. Kill the saga next time, maybe. Do we not escape to see if we find another ammo? We don't, they're just dead, it doesn't matter. If, there, if there's one complaint about the deck, it's the lack of game actions. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, keep this. Let's just put back the Lotus Field. Pretty, pretty good hand. Likely turn three win. If this is creativity, a lot of times... So this has been... Like, on the draw against creativity, I've had this exact hand a few times... And I've chosen to play Gardens on turn two to just do the normal get get Lotus, copy Lotus. And then I just, like, lose it to Fairy because I didn't play the second Saga. Notably, also, I can... I, I'm even, like, a mana short of... I'm a mana short anyways of being able to cast a five drop next turn. So let's just do this. Thoughts on blue-white Thopter Sword archetype? It's not a deck that I think is, like, um, good. <laughs> but it, it sure is a deck people like to play. Yeah, we'll just go crazy next turn. If they, if they even creativity X equals two, we don't really mind so much. I 
Uh, I, I have a re I have Red Black Sack Scam rented. I'm just gonna see how I feel though. How many leagues we want to play today? How much of this? I'm having I'm just having so much fun with this deck too, and it's also like you know we have a new set coming out, and so it's not like there's a ton to do. Or a colorless force do. <laughs> so pitch a colorless card. You have to it have to be. I don't know what the effect would be, but I think it'd probably have to be like pitch a non land colorless card. Yeah, I was doing some brewing with calibrated blast last night, and really didn't like my build. I was like up a game and <laughs> just like conceded, or we were just going to game three. Stop! No, don't prismatic ending me. Damn it. If only they were playing any other version. Now I'm just like, can't do anything. Did I see some new cards for Phoenix Stimulus deck? There's the new Phoenix. That card seems okay. Alright, probably pretty toast. Why couldn't my opponent have just put two Archons into play, huh? Oh, I thought I had seven in hand. Okay, <laughs> we're just picking up Gigantha to discard it. <laughs> just pick it up to discard it. Maybe Urbrask is well for Phoenix. Urbrask is not a modern playable card. It's not even like really close, to be honest. Thoughts on around Winota and modern. Uh, I like Winota. Um, I think it's missing some support, but I also think that it's a little underexplored. Okay, so now we're only one mana short. Oh, we can guess a Karn. No, I think it's just better to hold the Grazer as a ritual. Probably discard a Karn is fine, although we don't necessarily need the other bounce land. Oh, sorry, we only have three mana. I keep thinking I have two amulets. Yeah, Urras seems like a great cube card. Yogg Winota. I, I like the Yogg Winota. Honestly, Winota is like a totally fine card in Yogmoth. It's like a lot of times if you have like turn two Geist and you, like that's about all you have because they killed your mana dork, Winota is like the best card to get off evolution. Um... But, but of course the downside is your mana doesn't like work at all. Okay, I'm gonna resubmit and then use the rest of What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. So rude of my opponent to get What's rid of up? both it's of my amulets. Or two out of my three amulets, rather. Just thinking if I, like, ever, like, the fact that I can turn three Karn. Maybe I can turn three Karn anyways. Okay, I'm, de I'm definitely keeping. I'm definitely keeping. I'm just, like, thinking about holding Grazer versus not holding it. Okay, actually, I think I think what I like about playing the Grazer here is I can I can make us I can make Saga tokens, like at least one Saga token. Seems okay. Kind of feel like I got immediately punished. Yeah, we can play it a little bit slower though. Maybe even make two. Like, it seems like a, kind of an interesting angle of attack. Like, just not give them infinite time as I cast my Emrakul. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like just make another Saga token, grab an amulet, play a Gardens, and then next turn I can go crazy. And if they're able to interact with my plan, I still just have like. Um, Corsair's Accord in play. 
Yeah, we don't make too many saga tokens. Like to some extent, I kind of like just trying out game plans in these kind of matchups too. They have a binding. No binding is great. Yeah, so this turn we're not going to make a saga token. We have two four fours. I can be five fives if when we get to copy with gardens, assuming that this resolves. I only have seven mana. Oh, they do have a binding. Wow. Was not expecting them to have binding, but. Interesting. Should have led with land. I mean, I get one less untap if I lead with land, uh, and I like they didn't cast binding end of turn there, and they and like I don't I don't think I was supposed to put them on binding when they just didn't cast binding last turn. I think it's really hard for them to sandbag it that long. I have transmogify or <laughs> okay, just creativity. Alright, so I have five mana next turn if I don't draw anything. I didn't draw anything. So I guess I just get Metamorph. Or... Hear me out. If only these were one bigger, I could force the chump block. I, li I think I like getting the third amulet. It just gives me so many outs to win the game next turn. And I can still just, like, Karn Metamorph next turn. Got a zero mana. Um, I mean, I have zero mana place. It's not better than the amulet, right? They're attacking me, so we'll sack a card or token, discard a forest. Oh my god, what the hell? No! The stupid Archon trigger is pointing at me. I hover over Archon and it's pointing at me. Damn it. Just threw away the stupid construct for nothing. Looks like they tapped wrong. So I should be able to stirrings before casting Karn, right? Because I, I can still Karn for Metamorph or Bridge. But I can also find Timeless Lotus here. Which I don't find. I guess I take Poseidon. Yeah, they might have Spell Pierce. It's not that big a deal, honestly, but it's annoying. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna metamorph or I'm gonna or if I'm gonna bridge. Feels like I'm just getting spell pierce, though. Yeah, I'm dead. Rough game. Yeah, rough game. Metamorph plays right Pierce. I don't know if they pierce the Karn. Okay, Mulligan. Peep. I think I prefer Stirrings to explore here. So I can look for Gardens or Amulet number two. Feels better against hate, softer to counter magic compared to regular titan. Maybe, yeah. Counter magic is still good though against regular titan, but yeah, it's it's just kind of like you know marginal either way. Maybe. Main deck pirate spell bomb. Thought they might have cast a ragavan there. So I'm definitely grabbing gardens, but if I go copy amulet next turn, I only have four mana, so I think I play the saga. Can maybe even make a token. Because it doesn't cost us too much to like not copy the amulet this next turn. 
guess they're just Gen Saga. Yeah, I mean, the trophy race was good. I mean, so, like, one thing right now is, like, uh, when I get my thyroid medicine soon, my whole life will change, and I'll have the energy to trophy race, but it's it's hard to commit to, like, big things like trophy races or whatever it is we were talking about the other day until I get my, my issues under control. Yeah, definitely just gonna make a token. They'll kill a pirate spell bomb, but I think it's more relevant to like tap a mana of theirs than to save a mana of mine. They got a swamp, so they're not using push instead. Are there any cards you feel should be viable, just aren't? I really want Desecrated Tomb to work. Um, okay, so if they're gonna besage you, they have to besage you now. Oh, but they put, yeah, they put it in the hand, sorry. I don't know why I was thinking this is Ragavan. They hit the Saga, which is the correct choice. Because Saga is one mana plus an amulet. Although we're still probably going to win. Um, yeah, so, you know, as far as, like, Desecrated Tomb goes specifically, like, these, like, three mana artifacts... There's a million three mana artifacts and enchantments that if you untap with them, they give you a lot of value. And if you, you build around them, you untap with them, they give you a lot of value. There are a lot of cards like this in Modern, and this is just, like, not that good of a formula. Uh, three mana artifact or enchantment that you have to untap with. I was kind of excited about Moderation as one of these cards recently, since you don't have to untap with it, since you can use your um, pitch cards to like get, get advantage immediately, and you don't have to build build around it so much. But um, still, kind of a little anemic, to be honest. Okay, so I need to know, make sure I can play Lotus after I spin Golos. So this is 7, 8, 9, 13. 13 minus 7 is 5. Oh, it's 6 apparently. Who knew? Is this door mana? No, not quite. Or maybe, maybe it actually was with the other Lotus. Yeah, maybe I missed the door. I don't know why I didn't count the second Lotus. It is, it's not enough right now. And the Grazer was minus three mana, so I think we had enough. Nine, so nine is 15, so we're like four short right now, but just spin again, I think. Okay, hit another Golos, which gives us two mana. The Azusa also lets me... Maybe I should go... Is it better to get a third amulet in play? I think it is, because I have the other guys have the Golos coming. So I have no more land jumps, but I can Golos for six mana. So I don't... And I also don't need to Golos first... Right, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I could have picked up the Lotus Field, though. That was probably a bit better. Can't do that now, though. I guess that would be a reason not to, is because you can just do it in a second. Um, oh, yeah, I did I did have infinite mana, didn't I? If I had gone Karn for Curio. I think I'm just going to spin again. Okay, awesome. Listen, Karn is just a 19 mana door to nothingness. Not even letting me show them the door. 
nightmare to play against this in paper. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bit easier to play online. I think that's probably true of like regular Amulet Titan as well. Although, <laughs> I I definitely think Amulet Titan is the deck that you have like the most accidental cheats with. The most like thinking you have an extra land drop, miscounting your mana, <laughs> uh, you know, ac accidentally <laughs> taking an action you're not allowed to. Yeah, two explorers. Extra bad now when you can't count mana with dice and comp Yeah, I mean, it, it should be better to like count with pen and paper though, because you have like a physical record of all that stuff. It's kind of annoying. Although I, I do see people still counting mana with dice all the time, and I like I very rarely see that rule enforced, but you should also follow the rules. Let's keep this. I feel like two explorers has us sitting too much on a single amulet. Eh, it's okay. I think. Although this game I may I might need to Oh, they played out Besage you. So I either don't have another land or they have another Besage you. Okay, so let's just main phase copy because we think they might have a Besage you. Do you have an ETA my mom PowerPoint on cards? Okay, this is another card you're like way more resilient to. Like, what do they name? Lotus? I don't care. Golos? I don't care. Escape to the Wilds? I don't care. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, I'm going to start working on it this weekend probably, I might get it finished next weekend, but it, it will be out before the set drops, for sure. It's my birthday this weekend, so I'm going to try not to work too much, but I also, you know, need to work. Yeah, I always love, like, when you're playing a deck like this, cast Necromentia, hmm, what do I name? <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, I'll, I'll make one for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make them for every set. I don't know if I'll make one for, like, Aftermath, if that's not out. Maybe a short one. Anything in the world I want for my birthday? Donations to some charity? I mean, you could donate to charity for yourself. It doesn't have to be for my birthday. Um, I don't know. Tell, tell somebody you haven't... Tell somebody that you love them that you haven't told in a while. Or they name Lotus, which is fine. We can even, like, get, get it with Karn later if we want it. Yeah, a lot of Jund today. I don't know what's going on. The Jund Discord is at it. Can we get a zombie? Yeah, so I think we just escape. We could go those first, because if we don't go those first, then we can't escape. But I don't necessarily want to Lotus Field my... Um, yeah, I don't necessarily want to Lotus Field my Saga way. This is a lot of mana, though. Okay, so I go Amulet, Zeusa. So I have 12 mana available, and then I can, I can just go Golos into Emrakul. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Necromancia is not like the most common card, but it is it is really cool that you're like really resilient to Necromancia. Like that card just is is like almost not worth bringing in. Okay, sneak. Put my back camera cool. When's the mob overview video? You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a one man show over here. I'm just like one little guy, you know, just a little guy. So it'll be out when it's ready, and I, I don't know when that is yet. I don't have a whole production team over here. Main power, four months, and thank you. Why is your deck have Emrakul? Just to, just to cast that guy. I, you don't need the Emrakul. You can play a third Explorer instead, but like I wanted one more top end card with like Golos Escape Karn. Um, I wanted one more like I guess a, a, a 13th like big win the game card. Um, and Nemercool is like super castable. Oh, yeah, I guess I do have Gloom. <laughs> I mean, I we love Gloom, but you know, he just he doesn't make the YouTube videos. 
Honestly, like, Gloom doing the editing saves me so much time, though. It's, like, it's really, like, why I'm able to, like, brew and playtest so much. Promoto, which program do you think is best for someone who wants to play competitively? Card, Ho Card Hoarder tends to be better for, like, getting into it for the first time, and, like, Mana Traders is easier to get into and, like, better over time, maybe, or as good over time. Like, I, I have, I've had Mana Traders... <laughs> I've had mana traders for a long time, and like I, I love my mana traders account. It's like, it's it's like, like forty five bucks for any deck I ever want to play, um, and I love that. But it's also, huh? It's also like a worse deal over at first. It you know ends up stacking. So I can go Golos into Karn next turn, I guess. Sounds like nothing as far as business expenses for the stream go. Uh, <laughs> I did my t I, I, I have business expenses. I mean, Gloom is a business expense. Kind of really a business profit maker. Are there any amulet effects beside the proverbial amulet? Um, not in modern that I'm aware of, so you just have to copy it. Could be some I'm unaware of, maybe. Tiller engine? Cool. Doesn't work with Lotus, but yeah. Cool, never seen that card. Everyone has second Lotus Field and regret not having it. Um, there are times I've wanted a second Lotus Field, but also like 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 this would actually be a really good example of a time where I would I would get to cast the coding and deny them a mana. But obviously, like playing the second Lotus Field also has like has downsides, so it's it's tough. So I think I'm gonna tutor for. I'm gonna play coding, kill Urborg, tutor for um, a garden. I think this could be my turn. So killing my Karn, well played. Your Profane Tutor's coming off also. Yeah, this deck has no lands in play all the time. These fine lands are cringe, actually. They have Field of Ruin. Can I elaborate on the 2-2 split between Explorer and Azusa? No. <laughs> I'd prefer not to. Thank you, Big J. I don't know, it's, it's, it's not like that deep, really. Like, like Explorer is way better to draw multiples than Azusa. You could, we have three Azusa, I'm down to two. It's not, not the deepest, really. I believe they use their field now instead of being able to hold it up. They get Engineer Explosives. Well, if, I think I could Emrakul if the Karn wasn't turning off my Timeless Lotus. Or spin Golos. I see four. I mean, I could Gigantha into play. Yeah, then Gigantha into play lets me like start spinning Golos also. After I kill the Karn, presumably.
So like they are gonna explosives my amulets away on their turn, presumably. But if they if you know if they if they feel like they have to do something else, I guess we're also like not unhappy with that outcome. They have Karn. Well, if they're if, if, if uh, of course I, was, I I think I, I did just say assuming I can kill Karn, I can activate Golos. I did say like literally exactly that, right? Make sure I'm not going crazy. A uh, CMC of Copy Amulet is still too. Field of Ruin, my Gruel Turf. And they can kill my Golos, which stinks, because I really wanted to be able to spin. And I can kill the Karn, though. They have two cards in their hand. We can try to rebuild. Gigantha does not cast Karn very well, though. Maybe Gigantha will solo my opponent. It will not. We'll get game two. Yeah, all the, all the fields are really interesting in this matchup. Yeah, probably not a great matchup because they're on like the full eight field of ruins. Is this Night's Whisper deck everyone's been playing? Yeah, th this is like Trellon's coffer list, I think, or it looks like it. It's been pretty popular lately. And I'm gonna keep this. I think with these one Saga hands, with these one Amulet hands, it maybe does just make sense to graze your turn one since it's like plus one mana now versus plus one mana when you have Amulet on turn three. And obviously if you, ha if you draw another Amulet, there's like the downside, but there's, you know, other upsides associated with doing this first. Most notably, making like a couple Saga tokens if we draw on tap land. It's a Ghost over Escape, which is like maybe just wrong. Snapping off the Amulet of Vigor here. And can't token, can't you can't the. Can't attack for zero. Night's Whisper, love to see it. like to see that also. Explore, which is mana positive. Stirring, stirring. So we have one land drop. Let's go ahead and cast Stirrings here. Found both a Timeless Lotus and an Amulet of Vigor. I think we'll get to take the Lotus. Both are pretty good though. Then we can explore to get up the mana to cast the Timeless Lotus. It's like unbelievable how good Escape to the Wilds has been. Like a card I've just like never cast in modern or I think seen anybody cast in modern. I've been wondering if it would be good in red green Valakit, like if that's just like a card they should be playing. I'm not sure though, of course. Curious if anybody's tried it. Yeah, banned and standard for a reason. I think I played like a standard format. Like right after it was banned. I think that was like one of the PTs I played. Or oh, he had another escape. Okay. So I guess we just we're just carning now. Or I can make mana with car yeah, no, I can actually go. Yeah, we go Karn for Meta. Yeah, Karn for Metamorph. Copy Lotus. Spin Golos again. A little bit short of Phil Grease Sages. Although I could go, I could go Karn into Phil Grease Sages into Emrakul. That seems good.
exactly enough, right? Seven mana floating, this is seven, okay. So this is infinite non-blue mana, but good enough for a turn three Emrakul. We can also spin Golos a few more times. You have two Golos to play for free. Um, I thought both I thought both of those Goloses were Escape to the Wild Goloses. Maybe one of them was an I think one of them was for sure. But I maybe maybe the other one wasn't. I'll have to keep this. Just draw a bounce land. Puts on the mold of five. We can uh, expedition map for a bounce land if we really need it. Suspense Profane Tutor, definitely a slow card in this matchup. Although if I don't draw the bounce land, this is. I mean, if I just if I just draw like even cruel turf, things are really good. They they might feel to ruin me main phase on the saga. They may wait to target the bounce land, which is probably better. Kind of an interesting conversation. Pillow Twitch Prime, thank you, thank you. Not that I even have the bounce land in my hand, of course. Did draw it. So we get an amulet. We play Simic Growth Chamber. Or was I supposed to still get the map? Yeah, I think I was supposed to still get the map. They might tap out for Karn. Uh, it's uh, probably unlikely. Go listen to escape. I can't. They, they feel to ruin my bounce land in response to the triggers. It's not, this is not like I'm tanking on, oh, I have a billion mana, nothing to do with it. <laughs> I know I have things to do with it, but they've got the mana up here. They just have to hold up feel forever until they draw EE. Well, their EE, I think, is like just a Karn target, but. They might get another field here. I think there's a good chance they grab Karn and tap out into the like, Necromentia. Oh, okay, well, I, I wasn't really expecting them to have E in the deck post-board, but I guess that's what I get. Uh, I think the chance to maybe play a 5-drop next turn is worth playing this Grazer. Karn might win the game, we'll see. Okay. I don't know what they're going to name. Maybe Amulet. I only have one Amulet left in the deck. Yeah, these kind of effects just aren't that good. Also, very weird to see them have Stonebrain in the deck instead of like Necromancer, like they just boarded in their Karn target. But now I can just start casting my five drops, which I, it may be Gigantha first. Although like just Golos for a second Saga seems kind of fine, or Golos for Garden seems fine. Trellon runs two brain. Like why yeah, why two brain instead of one brain, one necromancia? I think I'm actually just gonna get a rule turf. Because of Tutor? I, I still feel like I would rather have a Necromentia. Because of Veil of Summer? Okay. It's fine. But it's also like Stonebrain is like too slow against creativity and like a lot of decks on the draw. Like three versus four is probably more important than Veil. But that is a reason, at least. Immediately takes Gigantha. Immediately takes Gigantha. And then suspends another Profane Tutor. Gonna make a Saga token. I don't see them taking it over Golos. I mean, it, sh it they should definitely have taken Escape to the Wilds over Golos, but... Maybe not. Definitely, maybe. 
Part of conference is scored 100% scared of you. Yeah, one issue too when you're when we're talking about um, when we're talking about like coffers, like like Stonebrain versus Necromancer, like Veil is still gonna like wreck you at some point in the game, right? In your Thoughtseize, Invoke Despair deck. I would I would think that you're still just going to get destroyed by it, um, or like 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 playing one Stonebrain over one Necromancer is not going to make you enough better against. Veil of Summer. Maybe that's a better way to phrase it. I would think, at least. So we get the fourth amulet out of the deck, but, and then we cut, make the fifth amulet. And then we... kill Karn, attack them. Never let them cast Veil. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Is Veil Summer good against creativity? Um, it kind of depends on like what your matchup is. I should have I should have Stirrings first probably. Although Besage Besage you is nice to grab. Be able to kill that coffers maybe cuts them off the leveler next turn. Yeah, it just depends on like what deck you're playing. But it's 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 okay sometimes. Okay, found another Timeless Lotus. Definitely the card you want to see there. Do I take another Golos? Probably would prefer Gardens. Doesn't matter a lot. I guess I'm just like mostly playing Bounce Lands though. Another Lotus and an Explorer. Explorer is plus four mana. And yeah, I can I just actually get a clean spin with another Lotus still available to play. With two more mana from the Grill Turf. Another Lotus and another Escape to the Wild, so escape first. Okay, there's the three Lotus is just two. Okay, just two plus the Grazer. Um, no Karn, but we should be able to Emrakul here. Mets, 31 months, thank you. Amy is a win, yeah. Or as effective of a win as you can have here. I also get another Golos spin if they don't concede. Didn't hit anything though. Obviously could have played some of that stuff, but just gonna just gonna attack them. Okay, so we lost playing for the five o or four one. <laughs> lost playing for the four one last league. Let's get another prediction going. Doogie, 35 months, thank you. I, I don't know, I'm not saying we have no bad matchups, but it's we're more so weak to like specific cards than we are weak to, do we keep this? Then we're weak to um, decks. Scam is probably the worst scam, Merktide in theory, although I'm not too scared of Merktide, maybe. Or the control. But I say playing MTG makes you physically stronger. It probably makes you more physically strong than doing literally nothing, but um, probably not much stronger than like literally uh, uh, doing nothing at all. So, <laughs> I don't know. Any thoughts these deck seems especially tough on the draw? I don't really feel like it. Just just let them thoughts easy you. Yeah, but you can't though. Yeah, Temple Guarded Mountain God. I don't know what's happening. Favorite card from the new set? Um, there's a lot of cards I like. I'd say my top two are probably the new Phoenix and then the Convoke White Creature. That gets you two creatures. Enchantress? Maybe Enchantress. I feel like I don't ever see them have like this anemic of a start. 
Have I tried to make a Zerda deck? Um, yeah. I, I had the Zerda deck that I thought was, like, pretty good. Um, before... They nerfed the companion rule. Which, surprise, surprise, was a big hurt for Zerda. I think we just cast Lotus. It's really bad if they have another binding. Yeah, but it was like, there's an infinite combo with Zerda, Umbral Mantle, and... Is it Rhinos? No. Zerda, Umbral Mantle, and any Mana Dork. Well, you could just cast Zerda. It was pretty reasonable. Ooh. But you can't just cast Zerda anymore. Oh, wait. I'm one short still, right? Yeah, I'll just pick that up and... Besage you the binding. And still be... Oh, I can, I can go Grazer Lotus Field. Yeah, Grazer. Grazer Lotus Field. Lotus Escape. I think Death Shadow is a good deck in the current state of modern. It's like at least like a reasonable deck to register. <laughs> I like the version with Underworld Breach a lot. I think it's a great Underworld Breach deck. Um, you know, Shadow has always like competed with Murktide to be the best tempo deck in the format, and there are like there are some strengths and weaknesses, but for the most part, Murktide is a, the deck I'd recommend more. What's up? It's me, your friend's Aspiring Spike. Why did Creativity play one Valakit some time ago? I mean, I only ever saw Valakit in versions that were playing Titan, and I tend, people tend to favor the Archon variants over the now slightly out-of-date Titan variants, I suppose. Oh, they have a second binding? Damn it. I guess I should have escaped instead. I didn't think they had one, though. But I guess it was like still just better to escape, no matter what. If I can't get my hand on Mark of Asylum for Elves, do you think the brand new Surge of Salvation is a good replacement for anti fury tech? Uh, any amount of Forge Tinder is probably better, because you could like play it proactively instead of reactively, which Elves is not very good at reacting with a spell like that. But, like, you know, it'd be better than nothing, maybe. But Mark of Asylums are also, like, they truly, like, not that expensive. Not that that's maybe the point, but... That is still the card I'd recommend. Put an order in. Put an order in to Cool Stuff, Inc. 5% <laughs> off your Mark of Asylums with Code Spike. It costs a lot more to think. Yeah, I, I would guess, like, $1 for Mark of Asylum. I could be just totally wrong. Okay, three dollars. Obviously not nothing, but you know, you know, maybe you're trying to play FNM, you know, tomorrow. I get it. I get it. Um, I guess I'm bouncing my Lotus Field. Actually, I need to do this more often. Two more escape to the wilds. So I could have another amulet untap. Um, untap the lotus field an additional time. Also, I think it's better to have this in hand and sack this instead of the growth chamber. And I do find another amulet. So now we'll play the lotus field number uh, again. Nine mana. I remember me and my friends used to cube all the time, and um, whatever the original Lotus Field is called, the and the uh, so there's there's a version of Lotus Field that was like worse. Uh, you couldn't do this kind of stuff, and there was also a version that tapped for four colorless mana. I can't remember the name of either card. Maybe like Crumbled Ruin or something. But we we used to play um, we used to play with those cards in cube, but you could tap them for mana. You could tap them for mana first. Yeah, lo yeah, Lotus Veil and then the other one. We had both those in our cube, and we had just, like, ho home rule, house rule, that you were allowed to, like, just tap them for mana for a turn. Wasn't my idea, but 
uh, basically everyone else was, was into it, so I was like, sure. Okay, so we can Emrakul here, but we can also show them the door, which is better than Emrakul. Remember my opponent binding to two amulets this game? I think we can Emrakul and show them the door. We can do a lot of things, though. <laughs> yeah, we could Emrakul first. <laughs> I can't believe that we're playing we're playing an amulet timeless lotus karn deck. You have to be playing all of those cards to even think about door to nothingness. So funny. <laughs> Can you wish for something that's something that's bonded? Yeah, we actually did that uh, earlier today. Did that earlier today. This deck is just too fun. <laughs> I know I've been playing it all week, but like you can't blame me. Yeah, I know, it's so cool that Door is just, like, actually a correct card to play. I I never thought I'd see the day. And we have Modern Horizons 2 to thank. <laughs> we have Modern Horizons 2 to thank for Door to Nothingness being a, a somewhat playable modern card. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just, it's just this one card. It's one little Modern Horizons 2 card. No, it's really this card, honestly. It's, it's the combination of, like, these two. Have you ever cast Ballista? Yeah, we've cast Ballista. It's like, it's like good enough to have, I think, and... There have been like a few times where it's like really nice just to have against Yawgmoth and like as a blocker. But yeah, you could maybe like cut it because Door does the same thing. Probably the best deck I've seen me build. <laughs> I've built some, I've built some good decks. I don't know, because I, I don't know, I, I, I even feel like a, lo a lot of other decks I've built before have like similar levels or more potential like the salt Eye food deck is like i think a really exciting new take sacrifice deck is still so slept on but this is a good one this is good. let's take the compliment this is a good one i could keep that hand maybe i think with no bounce land on the draw i think i'm okay taking a mulligan go to five wish i had the seven yeah maybe we'll just keep that that, that one especially in a matchup like this Kind of like a mobile six. <laughs> How long is the process to brew a deck? I mean, it just depends. So, like, this deck is incredibly complicated and convoluted, so it, it's taking longer to, like, hammer out the list. Um, a lot of decks are, like, a lot less complicated and or, like, have less decision points in the deck building. It just, it just all depends. No, I don't think we'd ever play a door main... Like em Emrakul is probably better because it's, I guess it's not it's 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 this doesn't always require the full Wooberg, right? And it's also like uncounterable. I mean, the Explorers have been fine. I think it's hard to like imagine that the Explorers would ever be anything other than fine. I mean, my opponent definitely has an answer for an amulet up here. They know I have amulet in hand. I can just like blink their mana. Have I thought about making an online class series for deck building? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I do this, I make articles. I'm just I'm just one little guy, you know. <laughs> I can't do it all. But I've written I've written many articles on the topic, which is less interactive maybe.
pretty sure I'm just getting coding. I want to double check. Seems kind of dopey. Maybe that's not the right word. Let me grab a metamorph. Let's do something with our turns. Thought about doubling your workload for the community? Yeah, I, I've done that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'll write two articles and do a video a week. Yeah, I'll consult on Lord of the Rings. I'll do a trophy race. <laughs> yeah, Cur Curio is an infinite combo with an am with one amulet and two grazers. It's, it's any colors you need with two amulets, and it's infinite like one color with one amulet. Okay, well, I love having Besage you in my hand here. Wow. Wowie wowie. I kind of like the idea, though, of just go copy, copy amulet this turn, and then I go, like, 6, 11 mana next turn. There's not, like, much they can even do about it. Not sure what we do with that 11 man exactly. Maybe just level them. Oh, never mind, we're dead. Okay. We did beat this earlier. I'm gonna concede. That was a mold of four. <laughs> Probably a good matchup, but. Got a mold of four. Okay. Keep or keep the play. You can't the uh, any main deck value needle. The problem is, it's like if you main deck a needle, you're just like never tutoring it. You're just always getting an amulet instead. No hope in Besagey rescue car. Nah, I'll just go. To, we'll just win game three. Uh, no trophies. We would like mostly three twos and four ones. We've only, we've only played. I know it's been like all week, but we've only played like six or seven <laughs> leagues of the deck. We've got like a pretty reasonable record, good record, but it hasn't been like it hasn't. It, this deck has not been like a mind blowingly high win rate deck. We've had a good win rate, probably like a little less than seventy percent, which is which is really good, but you know nothing ridiculous and. We mostly just have like a lot of ridiculous turns. Play Renin Six. Play Renin Six. Don't hold up binding. Hmm. Yeah, I think this time I do play around binding. As much as I can, at least. Replace cards with doors. You can open up the slot, a lot of sideboard slots. Yeah, but like, literally, what would I even like want to sideboard in the deck? You know what I mean? There's like not a lot of cards. I'm just dying to register. I don't. I feel like I messed this up. Heroic intervention for EE. It's just like, you're just, it's so hard to reactively hold up mana because you're bouncing all your lands. Just doesn't seem very reasonable. Like, this is the kind of deck that, like, uses its cyborg cards the worst because it's a combo ramp deck. I find Prismatic Ending. Ugh. Yeah, I think I was just supposed to main phase copy and then I still, like, lose the game, but. I'm not losing the game as hard. Redshot 13 months, thank you. I, I, try, I tried Welding Jar and I really disliked it. It was just like, never there when you needed it. Like, not a reasonable card to get off Saga most of the time. And like, we've had a reasonable, you know, success, to, you know, just beating the Cyber cards enough of the time that I think it's fine not to. Uh